All right, everybody, welcome. We are going to talk today about making summer leads. You know, we're, we're uh, just starting off the, what is this? Oh, the last month of the first half of the year. So uh, this, uh, this month will let us know you know, when we're done, how we are doing halfway through 2018. And I hope that, I hope that all of you are killing it. I hope that you are uh, doing really well in business. Um, I hope you're selling a lot of jobs. I hope your pricing is right. Um, I hope your margins are right. And I hope you've been putting a lot of money into your bank account or into your investment accounts, or into your, wherever you put your money, but hopefully uh, you have been making lots and lots and lots of money. Now, look, I'm the whole, this time, in economic, you, you heard me talking about this, and, and I, I feel like I need to bring it up every time um, we do one of these trainings, just to remind everybody, that you know times are good and um again hopefully you're selling a lot of stuff and getting it installed and getting paid and making money um you got to be at at least a minimum minimum net profit of 10 percent after everybody and everything is paid for and um so i'm putting together some resources to help you um, with that, um, more from a accounting level, um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what I can. We'll see what I can put together for you all. But today, but today, I'm gonna help you with how do you get more good quality leads in the summer. Um, Ten, you know. I, when I was in, when I had my companies, I, you know, summer was always kind of a weird time. It was either, you know, we kind of go in fits and starts, you know, June, we've got, you know, we've got uh, um, graduations happening. Um, I know there's a whole lot. My cousin's uh, son just graduated from high school. I don't, last year we had, last year, the year before, and I think the year before, three years in a row, um, we had, um, in our family, we had high school graduations. Um, then you've got, um, you know, what are people going to do with the kids? The kids are around. So that's kind of a new, a new thing going on. Then you've got people going on vacation. Um, then you've got 4th of July in there. Then, you know, then you've got to deal with, you know, starting in, in August, people are going back to school. So my point here is that there are a lot of distractions for people in the summer and what we've got to do is we be we've got to be able to cut through those distractions to get them to listen to us and um hopefully um buy more of our stuff all right so today i'm going to show you how to make leads, you know, during this time. Now, by the way, what I'm going to show you can also be used at different times of the year. So if you kind of, if business slows down for whatever reason, a couple of the things I'm going to show you actually, we've used at like at the end of the year where it's, you know, you're competing against the fat man, you know, Mr. Santa Claus, who is a, a, a very worthy opponent, um, very difficult to compete against. Um, but some of the stuff I'm going to show you, we've used at the end of the year, but we also can use it in the summer. Uh, you just change a few words around and it's a summertime promotion. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make leads. I'm going to show you how to cut through, uh, some of the distractions. And then I'm going to show you a bunch of examples and, um, you may, for this, um, For this, I could have put together some sort of worksheet, um, but I didn't. So I would recommend that you have with you um, something to write with, because I'm going to give you some ideas 
um, and kind of walk you through how to structure something like this. And I'm going to show you a bunch of examples. So you're probably going to want to take um, you're probably going to want to take some notes here. All right. So um, you're you're this was called three easy steps. Um, you know, nothing's easy. Um, we can make them easier. Uh, maybe that's what it should have been called. But um, anyway, um, the three steps here not only work for how you make summer leads, but how do you just make leads in general? How do you create profitable lead generation? Now, when I first learned this, it changed everything for me in terms of of marketing and i got it from this book from my mentor dan kennedy the ultimate marketing plan which is a book i highly recommend um, for anybody that's that's in business um, and in this book i learned about the kennedy results triangle and the way that this works is you know if you want to create profitable lead generation you've got to understand three things and you got in the degree to which you get these three things right is going to determine your success or your failure so let me just recap this real quick because i'm going to show you how all of this fits in to what we're doing right now um, so the triangle is market message media okay market is who are we targeting? And this is for, again, for summer leads or just leads in general. Who are we targeting? For example, we want to target, obviously, homeowners, right? We don't want renters. We want homeowners, right? We want more affluent homeowners. We don't want poor renters. Right. So that's the who. Now, that's just two little basic things. But this is like, you know, how deep can you go with the who conversation? And again, look, Google, Google is just another media, by the way, pay per click. It's just a much more kind of uh, advanced form of of uh, of media. But it's like anything else, TV. If you're if you're doing TV, what TV shows are you you're gonna put your commercials on? Are you gonna you're gonna put commercials on those TV shows that the type of people that buy your product watch, right? So that's the who. You gotta get that right. Number two is once you understand your who, what is your message to them? What are you gonna say to them to get their attention? to get them to raise their hand and to pick up the phone and call you, the message, right? And then finally, number three is the media. How am I going to get my message to the right people, okay? You get those three things right, you create profitable lead generation. You get one of those wrong, and your results go down pretty dramatically. You get two of them wrong and you got your bust. Okay. So this is how it works. And I followed this formula since I learned it. And I think I learned it in like 1994 or 1995. I can't believe I can actually even, you know, talk about shit that was 20 something years ago. But anyway, that's where we're at. So um, market message media. You've got to understand how this works. And, and look, I could look at, and I've done, I've been doing this for so long that I could look at and ask some questions of, of people that are placing media, let's say are placing ads and, and get a pretty good sense of, well, are we targeting the right people? Are we saying the right thing? Are we going in the right media? All of that, number one. But then number two is if it's not working, I just go back to one of these three things. Either you hit the wrong target, you said the wrong thing to them, which by the way is one of the biggies. Messaging is generally where this gets all messed up. And then there's the media. How are we getting, are we using TV, radio, home shows, um, uh, canvassing, newspapers, whatever, okay? So with this information as our basis, 
Okay, these are our three steps. Okay, this is what we have to determine. So, market, who are we going to target? Now, if we want to make kind of leads on demand, we want to make high quality leads on demand, which is really what we're talking about here in a particular time frame. who do we target? Who do we target? Now, those of you that know me, you know that I work primarily on the back end, meaning I work with the relationship that you have with your past customers. There is so much opportunity that most companies are leaving on the table by not having a marketing system in place to develop, nurture, and establish long-term relationships with their customers. So to me, if I need leads on demand, who am I going to go to? I'm going to go to the people that already bought from us, that already trust us, and hopefully already like us. Make sense? Who are those? Those are the past customers, people that have already given us money. Now, are all past customers created equal? I don't think so, at least not from my experience. So we've got to even look at our past customers and ask some questions and go a little bit deeper. For example, time frame. When did they last buy from us? Okay. So I kind of break this down into less than one year, one to three years, three to five years, and five years plus. Okay, these are just general numbers. Yours, if I was talking with you and I was having this conversation specifically with you, I'd have to dig a little bit deeper to understand who I want to target and how. But using these examples here, so let's think about a couple things. So people that are less than a year, people that are less than a year, I think that's a good group of people to go after if you have not gone after them in the past, simply because you want to make sure that you establish a, a communication and relationship with these people immediately after they buy from you. So that, so that when you hit them two years later, three years later, five years later to come back and buy more from you, you've established a relationship. They haven't forgotten who you are. They haven't forgotten what you do, what you've done for them. The big mistake that a lot of people make is that they don't talk to their customers after the job is done. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I need leads, I need leads. So what do they do? They go start hammering their past customers. Well, it works, but it doesn't work anywhere nearly as effectively and as profitably as it could if you had developed that relationship from the beginning, okay? And I think that probably, I, I gotta think that that makes sense to everybody you know, um, listening to this. So people under a year, I would definitely put them on the list. People from one to three years. Now, again, it depends how much you have communicated with them and how big your numbers are. So, for example, if I'm, if I'm working with you and you say you do 20 jobs on average a month, you do about 250 jobs a year, I'm going to say, well, we got to probably go back three or four years so that we can get a good list of about a thousand people. Okay. With that thousand people, you know, if we do all the rest of this stuff right, we maybe will get somewhere between five and 10 strong responses. Okay. That's about how the numbers work. You know, there's people out there that'll tell you, oh, we'll get 3% response rate, 5% response rate. So if you mail out to a thousand people, you'll get 50 phone calls. Eh. It depends. Depends on how strong your messaging is, how good your offer is. But I always like to be conservative. So I want to say, um, I want to always uh, run my um, numbers on a much more conservative thing. So I'll say half of 1%, let's say, 
Okay, just to be conservative, I'm going to shoot for 1%, meaning uh, using the thousand people example that we'll get 10 responses, but I'm going to make all my calculations based on uh, responding to uh, five. Um, so, okay. If you are, so a thousand, I would say is kind of the, the, the minimum number. So if you've got to go back three, four, five years, I would do that. Now, let's say that you do 50 jobs a month. Let's say that you're maybe like in the service business. You're not necessarily in the remodeling, you're in the service business and you've got, you know, uh, you do plumbing, HVAC, electrical, handyman, stuff like that. Um, that's a, that's a, that's a little bit of a different game here than what I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not sure if there are plumbing HVAC people that are on this uh, webinar today, this training. Um, this is mostly geared for window roofing siding. However, the principles are the same. And if you are uh, plumbing HVAC, put a note in the uh, chat box or in the question box, and I'll make sure and hit you guys as well, because the strategy is just a little bit, just a little bit different. So let's say that you do more jobs. Let's say that you do 50 or 60 jobs a month. So you've got five or 600 customers per year. Okay. I'm going to, I'm sorry. My phone is just going uh, nuts because I have got a meeting after this and the guys that I'm meeting with are texting me or uh, we're, I'm in a group chat with these guys. So sorry that I keep getting a little uh, distracted. Mike is HVAC. Okay, perfect. By the way, Mike, for HVAC people, you have big ticket. You have the actual AC units that you can sell. So everything I'm going to show you um, is relevant for big ticket, um, but I'll hit on service as well. Um, anything past five years, I'm always a little hesitant on. I'm hesitant because I, I'm not sure um, I'm not sure how responsive the list is, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of money if I'm not sure if they even remember who the hell we are. So the way that I approach five years plus is a little more complicated. Generally, what I'll do is I'll take a group of them and I'll run a test an inexpensive, I'll send letters out to maybe, you know, 250 or 500 people and I'll test it and I'll see how responsive that list is. If they're responsive, then I'll mail more, but I wouldn't just, you know, a lot, the big mistake, a lot of, another big mistake a lot of people make is they just look at all of their customers and say, okay, we have 5,000 customers. Okay, great. Well, how old are these customers? When was the last time you communicated with these customers? Well, we, you know, we've been in business for 15 years. These go back 15 years. Well, you know, anybody more than five years. So that group that's five to 15, if you haven't communicated with them, if, if, if you, have, how do you even know they still live at the house? So you gotta, you know, we scrub our lists, you know, whenever we do anything for clients, we scrub our lists, but think about that i mean if you're five to 15 years and you've never really communicated with them to now all of a sudden spend a bunch of money to, to communicate with them not a good idea so i test small in that group okay so get anybody up to you know that three to five years is the is the kind of the spot where i tend to stop you know we do a lot of you know, back end communications for our clients and, you know, they want to stay in touch with their past customers. So I'll always look at that. Um, uh, but I tend to stay within five years. Okay. Now, so that's your time frame of when they come in. Um, the other thing is, can you segment that list in any other ways? So for example, um, if you are, uh, selling roofing windows and siding, can you pull all of the people that have done roofing and send them a window and siding only offer? Um, 
that's one that's one approach um for somebody like mike who's in the hvac business um everybody that's done service but has not bought an air conditioning unit can we just segment that list and send them a new ac unit um uh offer okay so does it make sense and this is generally for the the companies with much bigger lists that we can slice and dice. If you've only got a couple thousand customers, this would help, but the time that you're going to put into it and you know, slicing and dicing the list and creating different messaging may not necessarily be worth it. I would rather see you just execute rather than you know, uh, analysis, uh, paralysis by analysis, as they say, right? Um, financing, you know, people that financed, um, do they still have credit available? I know some of the uh, financing companies will, so let's say the, the job was $8,000 that you did for them, but the financing company actually approved them for $20,000. So that means they've got, they've still got $12,000 in credit left. Can you go back and hit that group and, you know, give them a financing specific offer. Okay. Particular neighborhood is another way that maybe you can you can um, segment your list, and there are other ways as well. But I'm giving you these as ideas on how to think about who are we going to target with this summer promotion that we're going to talk about. Okay, so that's. The who. Next is message. This is critical. This is this is what do we have to say to get people to respond? Now, when we are doing things like a summer offer or end of year offer or any other special event or special time, we have to give them a reason why. A reason why. Why are we reaching out to you now? Okay. We have to give them a very compelling offer. And then, obviously, we've got to have a call to action, ideally with a deadline, ideally with a deadline. Okay. So, reason why. Here's some reason why for the summer. So, summer specials, summer savings. Um, you could tell people it's our slow time of year and we want to stay busy throughout the summer. This is actually a really good strategy that we use a lot for December, January, February. I used to use this one all the time in December, January, February. One of my favorites is customer appreciation. We appreciate our customers. Um, you could use your anniversary. So meaning you can get all of the people that did a job with you in May, June, July, and August and September of last year and say, hey, it's our one year anniversary. Okay. Um, what else? Obviously there's 4th of July, there's Labor Day, there's Father's Day that I think is coming up here sometime soon. Um, one of the things that um, I have not personally done but i know a lot of people that have has done a christmas in july promotion um and then of course you could use the you know back to school right all this stuff is is good there's not necessarily one that's going to be better than the other it's all about how the story that you tell and the offer that you make so you want to come up with you know a, a really um exciting offer you know you want to call it you know, unbelievable savings irresistible um once in a lifetime ultimate you, you could use words like this they're a little hypey yes um but how you weave them in and use them um with your offers um can make a difference let's talk about offers okay now look at my big red note there this is really important always make your past customer offers when i say pc that's what i mean 
always make your past customer offers better than your advertised special. So a lot of people do the same. So whatever's on your website, whatever you're putting out on TV, whatever you're you know, pitching on uh, wherever, uh, you use the same promotion for your past customers. You got to do something better and different. Something that if they were to go to your website, if they were to see you on TV, if they were to see you at a home show, they're going to see something better. They're going to see something better. So you could use like, you know, extra savings, big savings, a financing offer, what I call a plus offer. So buy this and get that. Um, I know a lot of people that my, my friend Brian Elias does this with just raw lead, just anybody just to get the lead is he offers a bonus for the appointment just to get in the door. He'll give them a tablet. He'll give them something, a 40 or $50 something just to get in the door. It's a powerful strategy. So here's some ideas for you. Okay. So here are some ideas for you. So you can come up with a percentage off offer or a dollar off. So, you know, one of the, one of the offers that's working really good right now for a lot of people is the installation offer. So some people are doing like 50% off installation, 60% off installation, free installation. Okay. By the way, the way that that kind of works, just to give you the inside skinny, because I've used this also for clients a lot is that installation is about 10% of the price. So there's your 10% drop, you know, so that's kind of how that deal works. The, um, the other thing you could do is you could do just the dollar offer, save up to a thousand bucks, save up to the way that, by the way, again, behind the scenes, the way that we do this is that it's up, it's up to a thousand dollars. So like for, you know, if you're selling a $3,000 uh, item, like, you know, in plumbing, you might, um, I know somebody just reached out and said, Hey, we're plumbers, uh, Jason. Um, so you have a smaller ticket. Obviously you're not going to give a thousand dollars off on a $3,000 item. So the language that you use is up to a thousand dollars, and what we say in the you know in the in the uh, note is it's ten percent up to a thousand dollars. Okay, but again, get creative with your offer. I'm just giving you examples, I'm giving you stuff that I've used that people other people are using. But get creative with your offers. How come up with the best possible offer that you can come up with and still make money okay get blank free get something free so if you buy something i'm going to show you an example of you know buy something you get a free cruise you know if, if you guys aren't using the cruise vouchers um that my buddy caleb sells at destination motivation uh you need to call me and i'll put i'll hook you up with him these things are amazing you buy these for a couple hundred bucks and you give them to people and you say, look, you know, if you buy today, they're huge in HVAC. He's, he's killing it with HVAC. Um, uh, Mike, I don't know if you're using him or not, but um, hey, buy a new air conditioner and get a free cruise on us. Um, get this plus that for one low price. So this would be a cool uh, thing. I've done this for plumbers. You know, so get a, a sink and a faucet for this low price. Um, window uh, roofing companies can do this with gutters or gutter protection. Um, you could package it. Um, big one right now is financing. Yeah, you know, almost everybody is has financing offers, but doing no payments, no interest, no money down for x number of months for 18 months go out as far as you can go i know that the the uh the the vig on that is high but if you can you know if you can put it into your pricing if your marketing cost is lower because it's a pc and you can afford it um that's another great um offer and then of course there's the bonus for the appointment 
So again, you know, there are companies out there like a Hanson's that'll say, hey, just for meeting with us, we're gonna give you something. And and you can, I've used the Fire, Amazon Fire tablet a lot. I actually got it from Brian uh, at 1-800-Hanson's. Um, and um, you can buy these things for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and it's a tablet. It's like a real tablet. So um, the, the, those are things that you could do. Um, so let me give you some examples. Let me show you some examples of some stuff that um, I've done and some other people have done. I'm sorry, my, those of you that can see, my nose is really itchy. Um, so here's one that I did was um, help me keep our crews busy and get huge savings. Now look at the language here. A lot of people don't have the, the what do they call that? The, the intestinal fortitude to use this sub, subhead that I use. I'm willing to do almost any men, anything, to keep the men and women of blank, your company name, working through, and I use this for winter, this tough winter season, or this beautiful summer season. And then you just tell them right up front that, hey, things slow down in the summer, but our people, we want to keep them busy. So here's what I'm willing to do to keep my people busy, okay? Here's one, I wanna, oops, sorry, hold on. I'm trying to cover up the company names here so that I don't hurt anybody. Okay, so um, to say, here is a, um, here is a appreciation offer. I wanna help you make your home sparkle this holiday season. To say thank you, call today and save half off on gutter cleaning or pressure washing, okay? So that's an exterior company. Here's a cruise offer. This is a postcard. We'd like to send you someplace warm this winter, okay? These are just different ideas, different things that you can do. Here's another one. This one is, is a, this one's a great one. A big thank you from the entire team at, and I mean, we just went boom, 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 boom. Again, this is an end of year thing, but we can easily use this for, for summertime. So look, during our customer appreciation event, you get 2016 pricing, you save an additional 12%, you pay zero until, 28, so it's basically 18 months or same as cash. Go on a cruise to the Caribbean, Mexico. I mean, talk about a compelling offer. When we sat and we went over this and boom, 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 boom. Okay. By the way, we also did a, but wait, there's more on this. Okay. Here's a campaign that we did for a client, uh, a window client. They did over $300,000 going to their past customers. We'll talk about media here in a second. Did over $300,000 going, going to past customers. Now, the, the interesting thing about this was they hadn't communicated with these customers. They hadn't kept their relationship going with their customer. And um, we were pretty, I mean, we were pretty aggressive in the what the thing looked like it was actually a greeting card there was a company plastic gift card in there um we asked them you know for their uh how did we do how are we doing i mean we just went way over the top putting this package together it cost a few bucks to do it but they're in the end their lead cost i believe their total marketing cost on this campaign uh, we're going to get updated numbers because the what you can see what you see here on the screen are actually um, older numbers. Um, they're they've since gotten more. These were within the first sixty days, I think. Yeah, within the first sixty days, they did two hundred seventy thousand dollars. But uh, since then, it's been it's gone way over three hundred thousand dollars in past customers. And by the way, this is a two product uh, one product or two. I think it's a one product company. Maybe two. It's windows and maybe doors also. Okay, so um, so this stuff works, all right? And then of course, you gotta have a call to action. You know, this mu offer must end on, call before. So one of the things but that, that I do a lot of 
um, that I came up with years ago when I was doing this for my own company was, so this offer is good for the whole summer, let's say. So we send it out in, in June and we say, you know, this offer must end on August 31st. However, if you call us within the next 30 days, and I've done this, I've done this with the, the gift card. So let's say that I put a $250 gift card in there, or if I'm a plumber or HVAC, I put a $25 gift card in there. I'll say to them, this is what I did with the handyman business. Uh, I'll say to them, if you call this month, if you call this month, we'll double the offer to 500 or 50 or whatever it is. Okay. Um, so those are some ideas, but you got to have a strong call to action, you know, phone number, you know, don't really send them to the website. There's no need to send them to the web. I would make the website small and I would make the phone number big on this. You don't want them getting lost in your website. You want them, you know, you almost want to use language like call, um, uh, call this uh, special hotline to get this. Uh, you don't have to use that language, but that's the idea is call this special number or even better call. If you have a smaller list, if you're not, you know, one of the, the big companies that we do this for that has, you know, 40 people in a call center have them call one specific person have them call you you know if you've only got a thousand customers you know you're going to get maybe 10 15 hopefully more uh responses you take those calls yourself okay um but give them a special number and make sure that number that phone is answered <laughs> because when they call you don't want to miss that call all right and then finally the third piece in this is how do you get your message to your market? So I love mail, direct mail. Um, I'm not going to talk to you about email here because just doing an email blast may get you something, but you got to be in the mailbox. Okay. Mailbox. What can you use in the mailbox? And we'll talk about these newsletter postcard you know big oversights if you're going to use postcards though if you're going to use postcards you're going to need some sort of all of this stuff works better by the way as a stepped campaign just sending one thing out by itself will produce results but if you follow it up for example if you follow it up with a phone call you'll increase your results 300 to 500 percent 300 to 500 percent three to five times the response so the way that that works is you send out the letter you send out the newsletter you send out the greeting card with the gift card whatever it is you send it out and then you follow that up with a phone call if you don't have that capability to follow up with a phone call you've got to follow up with a second mailer and in some cases a third when i i had a camp that was very specifically January and February. And uh, so I would do a three-step sequence. And, and knowing what I know now, had we followed up with phone calls, we would have killed, our results would have been double, triple what we got. We did great, but I did three a three-letter sequence. Okay? So... Um, this will help you increase your results, obviously, you know, like I said, with a phone call. So um, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite way. You've heard me talk about this before. If you're not doing a print newsletter, a company print newsletter, you are missing out. Okay. You've got to stay in front of your customers. This is, there is no better way to stay in touch with your customers than with a print newsletter and this is what ours looks like the one that we do for our clients and we can do for for you if you're interested we call it the happy home gazette you know it's customized um we don't talk if you're going to do a newsletter don't make it all about the products that you sell nobody cares about that that will be junk mail um, you want to make it fun and interesting. We put a recipe in there. We do. We have a 
uh, movie trivia contest. We'll do technology. Now, what we do, uh, we do an inspiring article here. We'll say thank you to people that made referrals, or we'll put the offer there. There's always an offer, by the way, always. Um, you know, our home improvement is just basically a checklist of these are the things that this season um, you've got to look at in your home. Now, what we also do with our newsletters for our clients is that we put in an insert into the newsletter. The insert is where we do kind of our hard selling, if you will. Um, so this has, you know, this one was $500. This is just a sample one, but $500 off any roofing signing a window project, um, $1,000 off any roofing window, or this was a stepped approach, spring savings with our most popular home improvements. Okay. Um, and then this is that um, uh, customer reactivation that I showed you and I um, think that is it. Um, any questions? Let me go over here to the question box. Any questions? Um, this program works and, oh, it's Ian. What's up, Ian? Um, I am heavy on tracking. If you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. <laughs> give it a whirl. Thank you, uh, Ian. What program works? Are you talking about me specifically or are you just talking about this stuff in general? And sorry, I can't like bring you on and I'm going to make you type into the chat box. Um, Anybody else? Questions, questions, questions. Anybody want to talk to us about this and how we might be able to help you? Um, if you do, oh, G4 specific. Cool, man. Awesome. Um, well, look at that. G4 is doing good for somebody. Every once in a while, we get one of those. <laughs> um, so look, I put up a, uh, a poll. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Now I'm going to um, check out that poll. Would you like to schedule no obligation strategy session with one of our with one of our uh, people to talk about how we might be able to help you with creating leads over the summer or um, or just anything else that we can help you with? Um, let me know. Um, go ahead and, and fill that out. Let me see how do I, oh, oh, so that's an interesting question. So the office manager gets this and understands it. Um, how do you convince the owner? I don't know. Um, I, you know, if I gotta, if I gotta convince somebody, like sell them on why they're, how they're missing out on a ton of business, um, I don't know. I don't know if they, you know, deserve to have a great business. Cause I mean, look, this stuff is obvious. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gold mine of opportunity. So what I would say to, to her Kimberly is I would say, look, you know, we're leaving a lot of money on the table by not communicating with our past customers, by not doing an effective job of communicating with them. And so um, can we look into some strategies for uh, going after that group. And look, I, you don't have to hire me. I just showed you how to do it. Um, you guys could do it yourselves. It's just, you know, to me, you know, why are you gonna do something like this on your own when you got somebody that can help you um, get it done? Again, whether it's me or it's somebody else that, that you work with. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question or not, but there's a lot of money being left on the table. How do we go and capture that opportunity is what is my approach. Hope that helps. All right, I'm gonna close the poll in a minute. Um, hit something on there so I can close it. There's a few of you that have not answered the, the poll. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. 
So um, I don't see any more questions. Um, we did this fairly quickly. Um, hopefully all of you are, well, all of you are obviously getting all of the wealthy contractor resources. Um, we um, are coming up with all kinds of cool stuff. Um, every month, you know that we do these um, live trainings. We've got the podcast, we've got some killer episodes coming up. Um, and um, what else? We got events, we got a couple events coming up that I'm gonna let you all know about. And um, that's it. I mean, if, if you uh, are interested in talking with us um, and how we might be able to help, that's what we are here for. You can call the office, 305-856-8788. Those of you that filled out the poll, someone will be in touch with you um, to um, help you. And uh, we appreciate uh, the opportunity to help you. And uh, again, that's what we are here for. So if I don't see any other questions, I'm going to say uh, goodbye. It is uh, Thursday, uh, June 7th. And um, I hope all of you are, again, like I said at the beginning, I really hope that you're doing well. I hope your business is doing well. Um, I hope you're gonna take some time off uh, this summer and recharge and rest. Um, it's a good time to do that. And uh, if there's anything that we can do to help you out, again, let us know. So until next time, Brian Kaskovalsian from G4 Marketing Group and the Wealthy Contractor. And uh, I will see you on the next Wealthy Contractor something. Bye, everybody. <laughs>